Hello, Brian Myers from Winning Solutions, Inc. and the Microsoft Access Experts. Uh, I'm going to pick up on our tutorial series on how to create a basic database. If you have not been keeping up with our tutorials, I'll put a link to the, in the description below to our first tutorial. Make sure you do them in order so that you can continue on with our tutorial series. Last time, we looked at uh, doing some basic form creation off of an existing table, as well as doing some basic formatting to our form that was created. Um, I did forget something last time that I'm going to go ahead and pick up where we left off and cover uh, saving out our form and creating a couple of extra forms for our lookup tables just to make our application a little bit nicer. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and we left off with creating a form from our, uh, our uh, employee table. I'm going to go ahead and close that and it's going to ask us to save this. And one of the things we'll notice here is that it's going to try and call this TBL uh, employees. Well, normally what I do is call uh, forms FRM and whatever it's for. So this would be FRM employee. Go ahead and click save. Once again, we're not getting our updates here. So I'm going to go jump to custom and then back to object type. And you'll see now we've got tables here and forms listed. And just for some practice on this particular tutorial, what we're going to do is create forms uh, based off of our lookup tables so we can maintain those from a lookup table as well. And what we'll go to in that is uh, doing what is called a continuous form, which may work better for smaller uh, tables that don't have as much information. So we'll start with the department table here. We'll do what we did last time and go to our Create tab and go to Form. And you see it automatically created our form. And as last time, we have some formatting issues here. I'm going to go ahead and delete the ID because we really don't need that. Nobody's going to do anything with that. Um, I'm going to jump over here into Design View too. It started out in Layout View. And I'm going to select that first column, delete it. We have this column here, which is the or row here, which is the department. We're going to go ahead and de delete department name. Uh, we'll just call it department. Uh, we do have that sizing problem we had last time where I'm going to select this whole row. And I'm going to set the height as 0.25 as we did last time. And that's going to shrink that down for us. I want to make sure that I do uh, some formatting here to make sure that that's on the right so we have consistency. We'll go ahead and move this up a little bit here. And I want to go ahead and change this form name. Uh, so we've got department, uh, we'll call it department maintenance form. And we, this is more than enough room for our department name, so we'll go ahead and shrink that down. We'll go ahead and leave it as long as the, the title of our form here. And then we can shrink this guy down a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is bring up the bottom of the form here. And as I said, we're going to look at uh, continuous forms today. So uh, to set a continuous form, what we need to do is go over into the uh, format style here, I believe. Let's take a look here. Uh, we need to make sure we have the form selected. If you're going to change the properties of the entire form, you click this little gray box up here and you'll see it puts a little black dot in it. And here we have the default view and see it says a single form. And I actually want to change that over to a continuous forms. And you won't notice any difference when you're looking at design view or layout view. But if we jump over to form view by right clicking the, the tab at the top and going to form view, what you'll see is we actually get all of them listed, all of our records listed in a row. So we can just tab through those records. And we'll say, uh, we'll add something else in here. We'll put uh, .NET development, which is something else that we do here. And you'll see it just adds in rows as we need them. Uh, we'll say HTML design, uh, CSS design, we can just add in records as we need. As before, we have previous and next records that we can bounce through. It says six of six. We can also just jump to the add new record, which puts us in the new record field. So let's try doing this again with our other form, our position form. We'll go ahead and select close. It is going to ask us to save this form. And I'm going to call it FRM department. And click OK. And now we'll go to our uh, 
lookup uh, table for positions, we'll make sure we're on the Create tab, click Form. Once again here, we're starting out in Layout View. I'm going to jump over to Design View. We've got to fix some of those issues we had before where we don't want the ID to show up. So we deleted that row. We want to change the height to 0.25 like we did last time. Uh, I'm just going to have this be position colon. We want to make that right aligned. We'll put this up in the corner here. That's usually what you do with uh, the continuous forms is get them as tight as possible. We'll call this the position maintenance form. We'll go ahead and shrink down our form title and we'll shrink down our position field. We'll shrink down our form here and we'll pull it up. And then remember you need to click up here to get the properties of the form. We'll go ahead and go over to our format tab in the properties sheet. We'll select continuous forms. And that's about all we need to do. So now all we have to do is go back to form view and now you'll see just like our other form we now have the ability to just kind of tab through and we can say and I think I originally meant this to say department manager so we can just edit that record and we'll put in here CEO how about president so it's really easy to maintain your records this way and you can see here, once again, we've got this record navigation down at the bottom. We do have the ability to search, but uh, with these continuous forms usually isn't needed. And uh, we're on record two of six. You can see as we jump through, it changes with us. And we've got this new record button. So that's kind of cleaning up some of the stuff that we did from last time. Just to recap what we did, and I'll close this out. It's going to ask us to save. And we're going to call this FRM position. Click OK. And I did find out that not everybody has this problem with updating. That actually comes from me doing the recording. But I'm going to jump from custom back to object again so we can see our forms. And you see we have our new forms. So what we did here is we saved out and learned that uh, form should be named FRM and then the uh, name of the form. We also went and created tables for our, uh, forms from our lookup tables to maintain our departments using a continuous form. We also did the same thing for our position form. We covered the record navigation at the bottom. And that's all for this day's tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for future tutorials in this series. Uh, feel free to give us a like or subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with all of our Microsoft Access products, database templates, and tutorials. You can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter. You can join our circle on Google+. And remember to contact us if you need any help with your access development for either current or new projects. If you're using one of our database templates and need help implement, implementing them into a current system or building a system based upon one of our templates, you can contact us for that or any of your basic or advanced access needs. Thanks and have a great day.